Well guys, judging by the animation you just saw, you just finally got a window into the official look at Spectrum, the company that I am behind and the company that is pretty much me. It is me. I'm the only I've created I've created the company and I'm the only one who's behind it. Now, it isn't officially out as of a website, but um, I will. T I am letting you guys know here now. I o I um. I am serious about the company. And I have everything up for it, and uh, or everything trying to be pretty much getting ready for it to launch. So um, yeah, that's some cool info for you guys there. But the uh, official company logo that you just saw is pretty much what I'm gonna be rolling with. I think you all remember the old one. This is the new one. I feel like it looks better, crisper, cleaner. It just looks better in every way. And then we got a brand new uh, jingle I kind of made for the sound. I hope you guys like that. And let me know what you guys thought of it. So, in this video, as judged by the title, we're going to be doing the very first development poll. And what does this mean? Well, what this means is that I am pushing a company initiative. I guess a pre-company initiative. Since it isn't here yet, but this is what I wanted to do for you guys. I am well aware of how long it's going to take Frontier to get where it needs to get. I'm completely aware of that, okay? I'm aware of that. And I honestly want you guys to play a game that I've created. And know that my company Spectrum is behind it. And that's me. So, what I have in planned is that I have three games that I have come up with and the idea of these three titles is the fact that I want to throw these titles out to you all as a free to play game and I want you guys to vote for which one gets developed first so first let me go grab my binder really quickly and I'm gonna read you out the synopsis of these three different titles who are drastically different from each other and I want you guys to kind of tell me what you think of them and tell me which one you want me to begin developing. Just to let you all know, these will not begin developing until August. So August is when I'm going to be getting this and the poll will be done by the end of this month. So I'm giving you all an entire month to vote on what you want. And um, I'll tell you how to vote, but first allow me to, exp to uh, talk about these titles. Let me just grab my binder really quickly guys, sorry. I kinda wrote all this stuff down. Um, okay, I have one of them. And I have the other two right here. Okay, so I'm gonna pretty much um, name the title and I'm gonna talk about it and uh, you guys let me know which one you was your favorite and to vote everyone before I begin reading off to vote for everything you have to pretty much tell me which game title just write the game title that you want uh, to be developed first and for those who honestly deeply want to support me with this and want to play my titles please uh, like the video and subscribe and tell me which poll you want now I will tell you these are free to play I'm just saying like and subscribe to me if you really want to support me and my company. This is all free of charge. There's nothing. This is coming out of your pockets. Don't worry. Um, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Only game that will be purchasable is going to be Frontier. Um, but, okay, I'm going to begin. And for those who maybe not have caught that, I'll, I'll repeat again how to vote after this. So, the first game title is Galaxy Squadron. Here's the synopsis pretty much of it. It's pretty much you are a galactic trooper and you're battling enemies to protect certain stations or control points and then you traverse the area to get gear from the fallen enemies and resources. You build better weapons, you build better armor and your goal is to pretty much survive as long as you can. It's more of a survival sci-fi game. You can imagine the player models and the world to look more of the scope of Metroid or uh, maybe Federation Force somewhat. I was thinking of some of that kind of a uh, style difference. And um, I've already had like, some gimmick ideas for it. I have some 
uh, modifications to your weapons, crafting, um, placing down stretchers, money, uh, and personalizing your avatar and things like that. So I've had interesting ideas with that. If you want me to go deeper into this and you want me to completely flesh this idea out, vote for it on the poll. However, we have two others, so don't worry. Okay. Now, actually, okay, there's this other title. Okay. The one I was about to read, guys, real quick, I'm going to read this last instead. This one's very different from the other two. Let me read instead this one. So you guys have already heard of Galaxy Squadron. So now, the next title is Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive is going to be a racing action, and it's going to have RPG elements to it, which is a little different from most average racing games. And this one's a bit fleshed out, too, so... The synopsis is a futuristic vehicles race in the fast-paced and action RPG racing game. You race in unique tracks and environments. You can switch out parts to your car and to your, um, to your ship. Uh, there are different kinds of ships. There are hover ships. There are uh, ships with wheels. There are those with different abilities. Um, you can put and kind of build the parts of your bot by in-game currency. And it's pretty much building your own ideal racing uh, vehicle. And pretty much, if you can imagine how I like to build things, you can imagine how the game will look. I can't really show you how things look because this is on paper, not in the, not on my computer. But pretty much the gimmicks here or the uh, the uh, mechanics was building cars with parts that you get after races or you would buy. Um, no one part is the same, so that's the RPG aspect. Pilot customizations, you can uh, make your pilot as driving look different and maybe look like you. Um, different game modes, high-speed racing, racing AI, and racing maneuvers. and uh, There would be a lot of... Um, okay, let me turn the page real quick. There would be a lot of, say, interactable things. These uh, spawning... Um, What's the word? Uh, I know like in Mario Kart they have those question blocks that you collect. I don't know exactly how I would explain that to you guys the best way. I think you guys already get it from there, but what I was calling it in this game is a deployer, and deployers can carry materials to build parts out of the game, and it would be consumable. I already have some concept drawings I've had. Um, the currency in the game would be called hyper credits, and um, I've got a lot of really interesting... Uh, Interactive objects I've already jotted down and thought about, um, like a boost pad, a jump pad, a glide pad, and I've already given these off like more personalized names. Like Hi Hyper Zone is actually the name of this for the boost pad. Jump pads are actually called Skyward Zones. Um, glide are called Ignition Pads. Slow pads are Reversal Zones. Electro pads are Anti Shock, and that would kind of halt your turning. It would. Uh, freeze your ability to turn your vehicle, so that could cause something, uh, some interesting plays. Um, there's warp gates to teleport to certain parts of the race track, and as you guys can see, there's a bunch of really interesting things. Again, I can go in deeper depth depending on what you vote on. So, uh, if you guys really think a racing game would be better than the FPS kind of sci-fi tower defense in a way of what Galaxy Squadron would be, then you can vote for that. Now, here's the last title. The last title actually doesn't have a title yet. The, what I'm calling it for right now is Project Terror. And it's actually a idea of a voxel, it, it's hard to explain, not voxel, but more of a block horror adventure puzzle game. Um, which is very different. It wasn't going to be really on the horror tip. It was going to be more on a Luigi's Mansion kind of like game where um, I build, where you go through this house, you're pretty much, and I, let me go read the synopsis really quickly for you guys. So pretty much the synopsis is a group of kids go missing in a mansion in the forest. And just to let you guys know, you would play one of those kids. And I was thinking maybe each kid has a different kit and how they deal with things possibly. Um, a dark robed figure is hunting them down. Learn about the house and history and what's going and um blah, sorry I read that wrong. Learn about the house and the history as you go through the house and try to survive. So pretty much it would be like a puzzle game 
kind of like Luigi's Mansion. You, the only difference is, is that you're being chased, there's a lot of anxiety, and the idea of a story having multiple endings, and there being quest items to go through certain puzzles, because the idea was that there was supposed to, there's not supposed to be one way to go through a puzzle, there's multiple ways, and each way will define a different path for you to go down, and it's kind of like, are you going to flee by yourself? Are you going to try to save the other kids locked in the mansion? Are you going to maybe see if you can defeat the Dark Road figure that's hunting you? What would happen if you did that? How would the story change? So, the idea was really just an adventure, horror, stealth, RPG-esque kind of horror game. And right now, I don't have an end goal for the game. I haven't thought of one. But the idea is that you have to get through the rope get through the puzzles, get items, discover secrets, and somehow try to save the kids or save yourself. And um, that is kind of the, it's kind of a sneaky title because I don't have a lot written down for it, but I have a lot thought about it already. So, I don't know which one you would like to vote for. And again, I'll read them out. We have Galaxy Squadron, the Sci-Fi FPS, the Gal Galactic Trooper kind of, uh, Federation Metroid Federation as kind of idea of how I had for that. Um, the other one is Hyperdrive, a racing RPG action game, and then the other one is a adventure, stealth, and slightly on the horror tip of um, of a game, and the fact that it would have a narrative and a story to follow, unlike the other two. So I honestly want to hear what you guys think will be worth developing first. Just in do note, if you do, if one does not get picked and if you really wanted it, that doesn't mean it's going to be scrapped. That means it's just not going to be developed next. That's all that means. So, pretty much, tell me what you guys want. Don't forget, it's Galaxy Squadron. The other game title is Hyperdrive. The third title with no true real name right now is Project Terror. And I want to uh, get your guys' idea which one sounds more interesting. I hope I didn't ramble too much on this and everything made sense. Um, let me just put that over there. Okay. Um, but that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. This is kind of the company initiative. I wanted to throw out three game ideas to my subscribers, to the outside world, uh, just to get an idea of which thing you would want me to develop first. And the idea is that I want this game playable to you guys by the end of the month of August. So I develop all of August, you guys get the game at the end of August, and you guys tell me what you like about it, what you would like to see in it in the next update, and I constantly keep updating you guys play it. It's kind of a back and forth, a free to play kind of game, and you guys have a deep amount of uh, effect in how the development goes. And I think if I make a small title like this, that's rather linear, I can get you guys to uh, play my titles and really get some really good feedback and you guys can now really t say that you've played a game made by me you've played a game by spectrum and uh, I really really want to be able to f want people to say that because no one's played Frontier but me you know There's, and that's not going to be done and viable for quite a while so I just wanted to let you guys know about spectrum how it looks um, I'm pushing a lot of stuff right now, and I have a lot of ideas out there. I want you guys to choose which one did you like. Did you like Galaxy Squadron? Did you like Hyperdrive, or did you like Project Terror? And again, I will read them out really, really quickly for those who may want it to go back and hear it again. The idea is a, Gal a Galactic Trooper for Galaxy Squadron again. Galactic Trooper battles through enemies to protect stations, traverse to get gear, resource to become stronger, become the best defender. So pretty much, if you like... Um, shooter, if you like, I was, my idea was to make it either a TPS or an FPS, probably more so a TPS since Frontiers and FPS, um, and pretty much you could think of it as you're like in like a Metroid-esque kind of suit, more like, uh, not look like Metroid, but you know, a, a battle space suit, and you, I build a map, and you have to defend a point for as long as you can, they, the enemies get harder and harder as you go along, they have more health. Um, there are different weapons, upgrades, all kinds of things. If you guys like that kind of gameplay, um, then vote for Galaxy Squadron. Now, Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive is going to be a fast-paced racing game. Uh, it's going to be through tracks, very interesting environments. 
I'll read the synopsis again that I wrote. Futuristic vehicles race in the fast-paced and action RPG racing game, racing unique tracks and environments. If you guys think that would be more your alley, then vote for Hyperdrive. You cannot vote for two. You can only vote for one, everyone. Um, and the last one is Project Terror, which is the horror adventure, like, um, blocky, kind of voxel-looking adventure horror game where you're actually through a mansion and uh, it's kind of on the more the horror tip. And I'll read the synopsis. A group of kids go missing in a mansion in a forest. A dark robed figure is hunting them. Learn about the house and the history as you try to survive. And also, if one thing I didn't say, um, this was actually going to be a little bit on the fantasy tip as well because um, there's like, it's hard to explain, like maybe so more a little bit of like an Undertale, but in a mansion and it's a little bit different and it's kind of like the mansion is a different world inside of it and it's like you have to make it out because it's a really dangerous there are other people trapped besides just you and the kids that you can talk to other NPCs NPCs may tell you something that may be a lie NPCs may tell you something that's actually good I, you may not know what to believe um, going through the game and understanding what you need to do there's definitely gonna be quest items one item I've already thought of was uh, the shadow claw which was a item to pull Weapons and uh, blah, not weapons to pull objects closer to you to flip certain kinds of switches and um, to grapple onto chandeliers and kind of stay high above the ground. So, say if the robed figure walks in, he won't see you because you're above him. So, that's that's just an interesting kind of idea there. I hope you guys like this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. This is the very first spectrum poll I've had. And I hope you guys find this interesting. Again, how to vote is just um, put in the put in the comment section the game title, either Galaxy Squadron, Project Terror, or Hyperdrive. Let me know if you if you're new to my channel, and you really, really, really like my ideas and where I could possibly be going. Please like and subscribe. You're gonna help me a bunch. Okay, I'm not asking for donations, no money. I just ask for your time and I ask for your opinions. That's all I ask for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next Spectrum Development video. And don't forget to be a hero, guys. Bye.